Yes, YouTube, what's happening? Mr. PMA here is back on my channel. Thank you so much for being so patient and waiting and continually doing my old workouts. But I'm in my brand new home gym, the PMA HQ, which means I'm going to be giving you a lot more content, guys. So, 20 minute workout, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're going to be using a set of dumbbells and just our body, okay? So it's going to be like a five minute round body weight, a five minute round dumbbell weight. And then we kind of repeat that, but you you know when it all kind of comes into play. Here's the first move, okay? A walk out into a push up. One walk out, one push up, okay? So you know the drill, guys. Get nice and warm, get nice and loose. There's a warm up video on my channel. Go there now, quickly run through it. If you're ready to rock and roll, and I'm gonna press star. We got a nice little 10 second countdown. <coughs> We got a three, we got a two, we got a one, and bingo. All right, here we go, guys. Legs nice and straight. Walking out to that high plank, one push up, walk back in, touch your toes. Now, if you want to scale this down, you can bend your knees, or you can walk out, hit your knees with the floor, give me one push up, and then crawl back onto your heels, and then stand up, okay? So the whole idea about working for 40 seconds is that we're working to our own ability, all right? Excuse me while I clear my throat. <laughs> all right, okay, cool. So you can see there, we've got about 15 seconds remaining in this first minute. Good job. Ba -ba -ba. Keep working. Woo! Oh no, we've passed it, way past it. Oh, you got this. So we're working down, take a breather. Next move, we're just gonna go straight to squats. Air squats within about six seconds. I need to get used to this timer. It's a new timer, shiny timer. Three, two, one, here we go, squats. So, keeping your chest up, bringing your bum to the floor. And I want you to think about pointing your toes away from each other so you really engage your glutes, okay? If you have your toes pointing in front of you and you're just coming there, you're not activating your glutes, you're not using that big muscle. So, we're here. Pop. You can make sound effects if you wish. Okay, we're looking good. We've got about 10 seconds remaining. Three, two, and one. Nice job, beautiful guys. So now we get 20 seconds of rest. Ooh, head rush. Next uh, movement is gonna be a push up, okay? So, how about we do this on our knees, on our toes, we're just gonna whack them out as much as we can. Three, two, one, we're in. So regular push-ups. Or you can drop to your knees, but you still gotta get that chest kissing the floor, okay? Chest kissing the floor every single time. Nice. But honest training, honest results. You know the drill. Come on, flies. So we've got about 10 seconds left, roughly. Come on, let's get four more. Three, two, one. 20 second rest. <laughs> Next movement, we're gonna go straight into lunges, okay? Just your body lunging forward. And you just wanna think about kneeling to the floor. A lot of people really think about the actual foot placement, okay? Just think about tapping that knee to the floor as if you're kneeling in front of royalty. All right, here we go. So, knee, beautiful. Knee, if you think about stepping, you're gonna overstep or you'll understep. Tap your knee to the floor, normal. It's real simple, keeping your chest nice and high. And we're targeting all these big leg muscles, glutes, quads, hamstrings, calves. Nice, 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 nice. All right, we've got about 10 seconds left, looking good. One more body weight movement after this. Three, two, one, breathe, beautiful. So, ooh, out of breath, out of breath. Fast without out of breath, God damn it. All right, burpees, guys, okay? Burpees is your final body weight movement. 
We've got about six seconds, okay? So I always say chest to floor. If you're gonna do something, you've got to do it right, okay? And that's always, and that doesn't matter if you're doing it strict or if you're doing it regular, you still gotta drop your chest to the floor, jump in, and there's no jump, okay? You can even crouch down, step out, lower your body, come up, and we're there, okay? Think about really pushing yourself to the limits on this one. If you use good burpees like this, that's cool, that's fine, but really try and break it down, chest to floor, and progress, and change, and relax, and recover. Whew, 18 seconds. So now we're gonna use one of your dumbbells. All right, we're gonna go into a dumbbell snatch. So, chest up, weight to floor, pop, and you're just gonna snatch that weight right above your head. Right arm only, three, two, one, let's go. So I want you to imagine the weight in between your legs and you're ripping that weight up so close to your body, like taking off your t-shirt. You see how my chest is up all the way through the movement, so I'm not bending over and cheating and gonna destroy my back. I'm squatting to the floor, using my legs to power up and that weight's just gonna fly. We've got about six seconds. Three, two, one. Woo. Breathe, beautiful. All right. That's a really functional movement from floor to overhead, ground to overhead. Real nice movement. Now we're going to bring it back to something real simple, real basic. It's the good old bicep curl. Oh, we're in. God damn it, 20 seconds is quick. So, rather than just thinking about your biceps doing all the work, right? I want you to lock your legs out, squeeze your butt cheeks in tight. Get that foundation beautifully strong and tight, no movement in your upper body, none of this business here. Yeah, chest up and squeeze. We've got about 12 seconds left. Yeah. Whoa, five seconds, come on. Yeah, we come on. Shake it out. Ooh. These are 12.5 kilograms, by the way. So not the heaviest weights for me, but doing 40 seconds on a medium weight is a killer. So really choose your weight wisely. Don't do something that's gonna be unachievable, okay? All right, we're gonna go into that left arm, dumbbell snatch, three, two, one, we're in. Bum to the floor, chest up, and really think about ripping the weight up, okay? If you think about your legs and your hips extending, that weight's gonna fly up. You're not gonna need to use your arm. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to see the reflection of the time in the window behind you. You can't see it, but I can. Woo! Six seconds. And recover. Whoa. Beautiful work. We're going to go back to those bicep curls. We're really going to burn them out. Oh, baby. Eight seconds. It's nice, guys. We're kind of coming up to that halfway mark. Pretty really good. Ten minutes in. All right, you ready? Lay up. Chest up. And you're thinking about squeezing your shoulder blades together. Ooh. Now, if you need to scale it down to just alternating, you can, or even just holding on to one dumbbell and still curving it. We've got about 15 seconds left here. Oh, I feel the burn. Hey, come on, fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Our last dumbbell movement is going to be a thruster or a squat press. Weights will be on our shoulders. We're going to squat low and press those weights above our head, okay? A thruster. 
seven seconds, looking good. Four, three, two, one, let go. So that's the movement, okay? If the two dumbbells are a little bit too heavy, a little bit too challenging and you're not getting the right form, drop down to one. Tuck it under your chin. But I want you to focus on the movement, okay? It's a deep squat. Hips are parallel to your knees. And then you just punch up as high as you can. Extending your arms. Whew. But I should be training, honestly. Got about seven seconds left. Hey. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, beautiful. We're now going to go back to that body weight round, okay? Remember those walkouts with the push up? Yep, yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. We're doing all that again. We're doing it all again. Ooh. All right, let's go. So, I walk out, push up. This is such a good movement to warm up with, which is what I always do. A mobility movement as a first movement, just to kind of wake up the body. But then when you do it again in a workout, whoa, it feels more than a warm up. Nice. About eight seconds left, come on. Good job. Three, two, one. Oh look, I did one real quick. You didn't even see it, it was that quick. Didn't even see it. <laughs> We've got those squats now, okay? And because of just body weight, focus on the movement, the technique, and a little bit of speed, okay? Tiny little bit of speed. Get those feet in the right place, toes pointing away from each other, and then your knees are gonna track the lines of your toes. So wherever your toes are pointed, that's where your knees go. And I bring my arms out because it just counterbalances the movement. As I come down, arms out. As I come up, bring the arms in. Woo! Oh Lord! Should have brought a bottle of water with me. Always bring a bottle of water with you when you work out. I mean, it's behind the camera, but I'm recover. Okay, bear with me. Bear with me, just imagine some real nice, you know, graphics, doing this thing, hologram Faisal, five seconds remaining, and he's back in the game. Push-ups, two and one, let's go. Ah. Ooh, ooh yeah. This is why I love HIIT training, because you only need 10, 20 minutes of your day and you use that time so wisely. Come on guys, keep working. Woo. Killer, come on. Eight seconds left, let's go. Woo. Oh, nice, recover. We can really feel that one. Okay, you're going into those lunges again. Nail these lunges now. Chest up, knees to the floor. Shake it out. How are you feeling? You good? Yeah, this one's a killer. A killer body, full body workout. Two and one, let's go. And again, finding your rhythm, finding that tempo. There's no need to rush it. And it's just about that knee, tapping the floor. Pa. One, two, ha. One, two, ha. One, two, ha. There's my rhythm. 11 seconds, let's go. Come on, last few. Last few. You know what's coming next, right? Three, two, one, recover. Burpees for 40 seconds. Get a number in your head right now. Is it gonna be six, is it gonna be eight, is it gonna be 10, 12? Whatever that number is, try and hit it with burpees. 
Hit that on my burpees. I'm gonna try and do 10, okay? Three, two, one, let's go. Let's work now, guys. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I've got to run out of my bar. I've got 10 seconds left. Ah! Keep working, let's go, come on. This is what it's all about. Ah! Ah! Woo! Oh, baby. What number did you get? Leave a comment below. What number did you get? Man, dumbbell, gravy dumbbell. Onto that snatch, okay? Right arm, even though it looks like I'm using my left, it's my right arm. We're in, let's go. Deep. Remember, bum down, check it from a profile. Bum down, chest up, rip it up. One, up. tap the weight to the floor, rip it up. You see my back is straight all the time. Chest is high. Yeah. This is the home straight. Four, three, two, one. That's horrible after burpees, right? Next one's bicep curls. Yo, guys, look at that. We've got less than four minutes of work. Less than four minutes. All right, grab the dumbbells. Four, three, Two, one, let's go. Remember what's about those legs? Squeeze your legs, lock your legs out. Butts are tight. Elbows tight into the side of your body. It's really good guys, come on, we've got about 17 seconds. Remember if I said you had to alternate Alternate it. If you had to drop down to one, that's cool. Drop down to one because you've only got six seconds left, so we keep working. Ah, two, one. Nice. All right, breathe. Now we've got that left arm. Whatever arm you were working, the first down first snatch is what you're working now. All right, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. A little tip start low. Start here, so you have to be in a squat. All right, let's go. Yeah. Rip it up to the floor. Up. Coming between your legs, chest is high, fully extend your legs. Boom, big hit. And just rip it up. Just keep it close. A lot of, I see a lot of people doing snatches like this. You're using so much shoulder when it's a full body movement. To the floor. Boom, close to your body. Ah. Imagine you're trying to jump up bah, with the weight, and the weight's going to fly. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Yo, two movements left. Bicep curls. And then thrusters, pardon me, to finish it. Can you see the. It's cold in here. But we're keeping it warm, people! Alright. Three, two, one. Let's go. And then you've got to think to yourself, why am I doing this? What's your goal? What's the reason behind you getting this 20 minute session in? Most of you who follow my YouTube account, you do this at home. You've got your own set of dumbbells. You do this at home. Some of you with your families and friends, which is amazing. And the main why for all of us is just to keep fit, just to keep healthy. And that's not just about our physical health, it's about our mental health. Relax. Thrusters, last minute, and we're done. Let's get, let's think of a number. I'm gonna go for 10 again, okay? 10 big thrusters in 40 seconds. 
Let's go on YouTube. Let's go on PMA Fitness. Three, two, one, we're in. Up. One. Two. This is it. Three. Last minute. Four. Let's enter the tank. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Woo. Oh, man. <laughs> we got to keep going. We got about 15 seconds. Hey. Come on, three, two, one. Oh. Yo, do yourself a favor, do one of these. Give yourself a massive pat on the back, guys. Amazing work. That's all it takes. So this is the first PMA Fitness HIIT workout from PMA HQ. I hope you like it. It's a little bit minimal. All the equipment is there behind you. I might take you on a little vlog of my gym on one of these accounts. But guys, stretch now. If you've got a couple of minutes just to cool down, go through some basic stretches. I'll probably do another one so you can kind of uh, recap on what to do. But thank you so much for your patience, your support, your loyalty, and most of all, spreading that positive mental attitude. Uh, Fuzzles out. Yeah.